it's down to what comes up before today and the trees in the orchard were taken from a narrow view of time where the Well, that's enough for now. On this video I'm going to show you how to play the game from HQ. And it's been some time since I've been wanting to rework this one. And today is the day. It's a long song. Actually, it's called The Game Parts 1 to 5, like any good old pro rock song from the 70s. And speaking of that, I'm going to divide this video not in five but in six parts that will roughly correspond to the five parts in which Roy divided the song plus the, the guitar solo. I'm not going to show you how to play the guitar solo, of course, but I'm going to show you the, the chord progression that goes with the guitar solo, which is different from the rest of the song, so it deserves its own part. The other thing that I must point out is that, as you know, the game is an electric track with electric guitars and bass and drums. But for this guitar lesson, I'm going to follow the solo acoustic uh, version that Roy used to play live and that you can find on In Between Every Line and here on YouTube on that uh, Rock Palace um, gig. So um, the game is in open D tuning. The first part of the song revolves around this guitar riff that sounds like you really got me turned upside down. And on the original version, the right hand rhythm is played like this. But on the live acoustic version, Roy plays it like this. So down, then slowly up and down again, and up again. And this is played using power chords on the 7th and 5th frets. Okay? So you play this riff along with the verses and at the end of each verse you go to a power chord on the 5th fret. It's down to what comes up before the day. And then go back to the main riff. At the end of the 2nd verse, again you go to the power chord on the 5th fret. Perpetuated patron saints of crime. But instead of going to the main riff, you go to open strings. And then comes this little riff that I'm going to show you. Okay, this is all worked out on the third and fifth strings, the rest of the strings are open and you start with open strings then you put your finger on the third string first fret and fifth string second fret then you move the same shape up two frets 
So, and at some point you go to this shape, which is uh, both fingers are on the third and fifth strings on the fifth fret. Then you go again to the riff to play the third verse. I can fit into your puzzle. At the end of the third verse, again you go to the power chord on the fifth fret. The habits I've got are more than ten thousand years old. And again you go to open strings, but instead of doing that little riff that I've just shown you, uh, comes a part that I call the bridge for this first part of the song. That uses like a, a mutated version of the, the main riff. Uh, and it goes like this. And we can't sell our souls to learning morals. So, open strings and then using power chords on the 7th and 5th frets, like the main riff. Like this. And you can divide the bridge in like two verses and at the end of each verse you go to a power chord on the third fret and hardly on how far from death we hide and then to the second fret here on the second fret I like to add the little finger to the third string so that I can get a clear sound out of all the six strings because when you play just the bar, usually the third string is muted. So that you, if you add the little finger, you can pick every single string. And it's not a case of rampant paranoia. Okay, so again, this is like the second verse of the bridge, and again you go to the third and second frets for the power chord, but more like I feel awkward, passing on, and again comes that little riff. And now we move on to the fourth and final verse of this part one. While the prophets of freedom battle farming brains for narrow minds. Okay, again you go to the power chord on the fifth fret. It's far beyond the lives they left behind. But this time you go back to this power chord. As two thirds of the population die. And again, on scraps and shadows, went the name with time. While so, third fret spreads the same old thing. And second fret, you is me and we can change the game. Okay? And 
for the last time you go to that little reef. is the end of part one and this chord progression smoothly transforms into what will be the first chord of part two this is the first chord of part two which is um, third and fifth strings on the third fret the rest of the strings are open Idealizing and all criticizing and not realizing that we've changed and left and we've gone. So the second chord is this one that we've seen before. 3rd string on the 1st fret and 5th string on the 2nd fret. The rest of the strings are opened. So. And the 3rd chord is this one. So this is ring finger on the 2nd string 12th fret, middle finger on the 5th string 12th fret, and index finger on the 4th string, the 11th fret. The rest of the strings are open. And after this chord, you move the same shape to frets. And the next chord is this one. index finger on the 3rd string 4th fret and middle finger and ring finger on the 4th and 5th strings 5th fret and finally open strings so let's play this idealizing and all criticize part will repeat uh, a second and a third time in this in this second part of the song but these first two chords will be played an octave higher so instead of playing this chord on the third fret you'll be playing on the 15th fret and the other one here so this is when he sings No point in passing bad reason good guessing No time for massing much more And the same uh, at the end when he sings Can we write heartedly Stand in this light and see Okay, but we'll get back to this so after this first part Set to believing the things we believe in But time is away and we fly Harmonics So this basically is the same chords that are used on, on before on that first intro okay. 
Now, something important on this second part of the song is the, the timing that changes. So I'm going to, to count to explain you how it's played. So let's start with the first chord. So this chord, this chord, this one that can be played here, these three chords always stay with this measure. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. One, two, three, one, two. But the other chords are like one. So, get the idea? It's a bit tricky. Now, the end of part two goes like this. Can we write heartedly, stand in this light and see what might turn out to be? Here starts part three. Now part three starts with this little riff. This is played with three string bars, first on the first, uh, second and third strings, tenth and twelfth frets. And here you strum all three strings. And then you put the bar on the 12th fret and you pick the second string and then first, second and third. Okay? Then you repeat the same pattern but on the second, third and fourth strings. from the beginning and then you move up again to the fifth fourth and third strings let me try to play this final part slowly again Roy uses this slow upward movement start the chord progression that supports all the part three of the song and it goes like this so this is eight chords the first two we already know, 
They were used on part two of the song. You must remember them. After this, all the chord shapes are worked on the third and fifth strings with all the other strings open. So the third chord is this one, third and fifth strings on the twelfth fret, then you move up two frets, fourth chord. So. is this one so index finger on the third string eighth fret and middle finger on the fifth string ninth fret and then this same shape on the third and fourth frets and on the first and second frets and finally open strings And to play this again, Roy uses this slow upward movement. When we've had a pass, I said enough to last for some time to the future. And it's like this all the way through part 3 until you jump into part 4 of the song. Let's see the transition. When the summer plants and the winter hearts for a place to face and your heart in. power chords on the 7th, 5th and open strings. There are no certain answers, no time to understand. This was already the transition to part 5 of the song, which is a reprise of part 1. So we're back to the main riff. And the prisoner of the present Paces up and down inside his cell Okay. Like on the first part of the song, you end up going to the fifth fret. From assaulting from this psychic well, screaming, I'm the sponsor of a hell. So on this last part of the song, you repeat going to the power chord on the fifth fret. Uh, until the, the final line So please leave this world as clean as when you came Then there is this small instrumental guitar section that makes the transition to the final solo You are playing the main riff This little solo is 
play it first on the first string, you pick it on the fifth fret, hammer on the seventh fret and then pull off to the fifth and to open strings like this. Then you pick the second string open. Next you pick the second string on the seventh fret and bend it up. Then you pick the second string on the fifth fret. And next you move to the third string on the seventh fret. And straight away to the fourth string. And then you play on the fourth, fifth, six strings and the riff. Repeat. Repeat again. Okay. Fifth and finish on the second fret. And here we move into the final chord progression that goes along with the final solo and uses power chords here on the 12th, 10th, 5th and 7th, okay, frets. finish with the main riff again. So please leave 